All right, what the fuck was that? Like, seriously, like... All right, so first of all, I didn't even really have a chance to watch this game because I had to work. But the game was on in the background, and I was, like, trying to see it, but the TV was kind of far away. And literally, like, every time I tried watching for, like, five minutes, every fucking five minutes, some asshole's, like, going to bother me with shit or a whole fucking line of people, people calling me on the phone, all kinds of bullshit. So I couldn't even really watch the game. But... So, and then, like, it was busy as shit at my job, too. So, I mean, enough about me bitching about my job. But it's like, so not only am I pissed off because about that, then I go in to see that the Raiders put on the shitty-ass fucking performance. Like, way to end it off in the most Raider way possible, right? You shit the bed at the end of the season, you lose a big game at home, and you fucking embarrass yourselves. Like, it's so ridiculous, man. So, let's get into this game. I watched the highlights after I got off. And... Like, I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, I mean, I know it's the Chiefs and stuff. They're one of the best teams in the AFC. I know. But it's just like, what the fuck happened? Especially, like, last week compared to this week. The only thing I could I could think is kind of what I was talking about last week, where I think that the 49ers didn't really have enough tape on Jared Siddham. So that's why, you know, maybe he looked better than he actually was. And, th- and that's why I said, like, this week is going to be the real test against the Chiefs because they're going to have a whole – they're going to have tape and they're going to have all week to prepare for him. So – he threw interception, fumble, like, again, with the bad decisions. And I know it's only his second game, but again, with bad decisions, um, again, with the offense not really doing shit until the third quarter, you know, they didn't score a touchdown, or not the third, the fourth quarter, they didn't score a touchdown until the fourth quarter. And it's another one of these games where we can't play together in sync. So, I mean, the defense, they played shitty, but, I mean, they did what they could. They tried to hold out for as long as they could, but the offense, once again, stalling out. And it was weird because, like, last week, it was, like, the defense played shitty. So, and, and that's even been a thing even before McDaniels even came. Like, it was always a thing, like, where either the off, one day you get the offense playing good, the defense playing like shit. Next week you get the defense playing decent <clears throat> or good, and then the offense playing like shit. So it's literally the same shit, like, even the, no matter what fucking regime change. Now the whole narrative is going to, the whole car narrative is going to be blown up. Oh, see, I told you. I told you Stidham wasn't the guy. If, you, you see, you see, if we had Derek Carr, if we had Derek Carr, and then it would have yeah, It would have been the same fucking thing. Like, come on, let's be real. But I don't know. It's just now that narrative is not going to go away. Everyone's going to fucking go on about it. But yeah, man, what a shitty season. What a, let's, I mean, like this game was so shitty and. This whole season has been a shit show. Like, seriously, like, it has been a shit show. We, like, we all came in with this high expectation that, oh, you know, the Raiders went to the playoffs this year. They can do it again, maybe even do a little better. And they literally, what, they go 0-3, 0-4 at the beginning of the season. Then they finally start beating some shitty teams like the, the Broncos and the Texans. And... You know, then we had another losing streak. We we got our asses handed to us in an embarrassing way versus the Saints. Uh, what else happened? We unexpectedly beat the Seahawks, which I wasn't expecting, and we beat the Patriots. I was I was probably the only highlights I would say of the season is when we beat the Seahawks and when we beat the Patriots because it's been twenty fucking years since we beat them. Uh, but man, just like a whole bunch of bulls, like weird ass calls and implementing this new system and inconsistent you know the Raiders being consistent at being inconsistent whether the defense shitting the bed and letting crappy quarterbacks like Andy Dalton and and fucking Trevor Lawrence and well I mean Trevor Lawrence he probably isn't crappy but letting these these quarterbacks like totally just shred them up and make them look like fucking Hall of Fame quarterbacks you got a quarterback who's inconsistent who one game he looked solid, but then the next game he's like throwing picks. He's crumbling in the pocket, and you know, underthrowing, overthrowing people. And then now you have this whole turmoil. Well, not turmoil, but now you have like this whole shit with Raider Nation. Everyone going back and forth with each other, and it's it's really gotten ridiculous. It's really gotten ridiculous. Now you know, and, and then everyone's laughing at us now. The whole NFL's laughing at us. You have all these analysts talking all this shit and including fucking David Carr. And I'll, I'm going to address that in a second, but it's just like all, all this, like all of a sudden this narrative happens. And I just think it's funny because I think it's literally the same thing as kind of like when Khalil Mack was traded. 
Like, if we would have kept Khalil Mack, the analysts would have said, oh, well, they're stupid for keeping Khalil Mack because he would have tied up their cap. And then that, then when we got rid of him, oh, they were dumb to let him go. So it's like the Raiders, especially with the, well, I noticed with the media, the Raiders are damned if they do, damned if they don't. You know, and, like, no matter what we do, they're always going to give a shit. And then to top it all off, you end the season in the most embarrassing freaking way possible. Lose it, getting your asses spanked by the fucking Chiefs and these all these fucking Chiefs fans <laughs> in the fucking stands and they're oh, 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 oh. they're fucking stupid ass fucking chops and shit, thinking they're fucking clever and they're cute. Oh, let's do the chop. Oh, get the fuck out of here. What the fuck do you think you're doing? All these fucking overweight white men doing a, a chop. Yeah, that's real great. That's really what I want to see. These fucking assholes wearing fucking headdresses and shit. I'm not even going to get into that, but that pisses me off. But anyway, so yeah, so you have all these obnoxious fucking people in the stands. All, a whole bunch of red in the stands. And it's just like, if we don't keep, if literally, if we do not turn this shit around in the next fucking season, we're, really, we're going to end up being like the fucking Chargers and the Rams where you have the other teams, mostly the other team's fans in the stands. Because we can't afford, we can't afford to come there. And honestly, who the fuck wants to pay all that money to sit there and watch that shit? You know, who the fuck wants to go out and pay and pay thousands of dollars at least, or at least a few hundred of dollars if you don't live in Nevada, to watch a shitty ass product like that? You know, who the fuck wants to do that? I don't. I mean, eventually I do want to go to the new stadium someday, but. I'm not spending a penny until we can produce consistently on the field. But, man, it's just like, it's just been a real awful fucking season. It has. It's, this has been one of the worst seasons, I think, re in recently. Either this season, I'm trying to think of what other one was bad that was, like, recent. 2017 was pretty bad, too. 2017, 2018 were pretty bad. But, yeah, it's just like, you have all this bullshit, you know, we're literally the last, you know, what, we lost, we had 17-point lead. At least four times and we lost. And like we. I, don't, I just don't know what the hell to do. I don't know what to do. Because some people are saying oh fire McDaniels. I even was saying that at the beginning of the season. But then thinking about it. It's like why? Like if we fire him. If we get rid of him. It's another regime. Another another element on the car or on the coach's carousel. And it's like what is that really going to solve? Like I don't. I really don't know what the fuck the deal is. Because I mean even with. I mean. We more or less got the same result. I mean, I would say last week the team put on a better performance. This week, like, I don't know if they just didn't give a fuck. If they're like, oh, you know, I don't know. I mean, honestly, the game didn't mean anything. But still, you could have gone out better than that. This is the last game the last game of the season at home. And you fucking embarrass yourselves like that. Now I can see why this game was at 1 o'clock. Because before, before this game, uh, before, like, when I saw the schedule, I was like, oh, shit. The game's at 1 o'clock on a Saturday. And I thought, why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Now I see why. Because, like, well, the, you know, the game doesn't mean shit to the Chiefs. I mean, I guess for home field advantage. But I think because of that situation with the Bills, they got it anyway. They have home field advantage anyway. So I don't think they were playing for home field advantage. The Raiders really had nothing to play for. They are already out of the playoffs. I guess try to have some, some iota of dignity. That would be their only reason to play. But, yeah, so... I just, and now I see why, because, like, this is, like, a shitty game, you know, and it was a shitty game, so it's like, oh, fuck it, throw it down at, at the 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock slot, fuck it, and this whole season's been awful, now I'm going to address something, so, David Carr, he's an analyst for, I think, NFL Network, he goes on there, and he says, oh, well, you know, he, De Derek didn't have a stable environment, and Hopefully, you know, he's, his best is a footballer ahead of them. And, yeah, man, you know, the Raiders are just, you know, they're a, a run horribly organization. And this is what I got to say. Okay, some people are going to be like, well, it wasn't Derek Carr who said that. It wasn't Derek. You know why Derek Carr is being quiet? Because he's he's hoping to land another job. And as soon as he lands another job, he'll probably talk all kinds of shit about the Raiders. But this is what I got to say. And all these people who say, "Oh, Derek Carr was done wrong. He he did. He has loyalty and stuff." And then he goes and he he doesn't even have the fucking balls to address the team directly. He has his fucking brother being his mouthpiece for him, being a pussy in the background, not even saying shit, but having his brother talk for him. That's some pussy ass shit. I'm sorry. That's some fucking bitch shit. Literally. And and that and then like, 
people, and then people were like, oh, well, because when, when, when you bring up the point, oh, well, I thought he was going to retire a Raider. What happened to that? People are like, oh, well, you know, he got done wrong, and would you stick around? And, and oh, you know, you know, he didn't promise the Raiders anything. Or he, the, I don't know, it's some bullshit. But it's like, he promised Raider Nation that, right? So he promised us that. But, you know, now all of a sudden it changes. And his best days of football are quote-unquote ahead of him. I don't fucking think so. And I, and I love all the whole the whole bullshit that people try to say, oh, well, he had six different head coaches, and he had all he had all this different systems he had to learn. Don't you understand? It was so hard. Oh, my gosh. No, it wasn't fucking. And then the thing is, people act like he had a coach every fucking different year. No, he didn't. No, the fuck he didn't. Stop fucking lying and stop fucking going back and adding to shit to fucking establish your narrative or to fucking add to your fucking conspiracy bullshit people some some of these fans are fucking ridiculous they want to have all they, they fucking inspire this fucking drama and shit like go fucking watch a soap opera go watch fucking general hospital go watch a fucking telenovela go fucking do that if you want fucking drama and fucking bullshit like don't fucking propagate that shit and it just pisses me off so anyway he okay he had dennis Oliver for what two years from what, 2014, 20, well, I think he had him for like two years. He had Jack the Real for like what, three years? I think three years. He had John Gruden for three years. Uh, I think he had two interim head coaches during that time. And in, like I said in the last video, I, in my opinion, Jack the Real took the ax for, for Derek Carr because he was playing crappy after he came back from injury. So... How is it exactly the organization's fault? Or not the organization. What the hell am I saying? Well, no, that no, the, to dispute the fact that he had the that it was so hard and that he had to learn so many different things. He had multiple years with different systems and, and he learned it. It's not like he got changed the coach every fucking year, like some of these people are acting like. That's not the case at all. And then people blame the organization. Well, it wasn't the organization's fault that Antonio Brown fucking lost his mind and went crazy because allegedly he never had a number one. He never had a number one wide receiver. So yeah, let's throw Amari Cooper out in the fucking wind. I mean, Amari Cooper's not like elite, but he's not a fucking scrub either. Come on, let's be real. Amari Cooper's not a scrub. Crabtree wasn't a scrub. But people act like he had nothing at all. And like I said, they tried bringing Antonio Brown. It's not the Raiders' fault that Antonio Brown is a crazy asshole. And lost his mind. And then, and, oh, and, the, oh and, the, and another thing, another thing that was brought up is, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was, it was probably stupid David. You know, the motherfucker who's not even, who was only relevant because his his younger brother is playing and played better than him. And, oh, oh, no, I forgot he did win a Super Bowl by fucking giving Eli Manning a Gatorade. Wow. Congratulations, you gave Eli Manning a sip of Gatorade. Here's your Super Bowl ring, and now you think you're an you're an analyst, and people actually give a flying fuck about what you have to say. But anyway, and, and then he posts, then he posts. His, I'm, I hate to get on Der David Carr. Then he posts pictures of you know children. I don't know if it's his kids or if it was him when he was younger, in 49ers gear, and sending subliminal shit. Like, dude, stop with the fucking pussy ass bullshit. Seriously. I'm so fucking tired of it. It's fucking childish fucking fourth grade high school shit. I know it's two different <laughs> specters. Oh no, I'll say it's middle school. That's like middle fucking school shit. But um but anyway, that Derek Carr was allegedly so distraught that Khalil Mack wasn't on the team. Well, if that was the case, how about you take a fucking pay cut? If you wanted Khalil Mack to stay, you should have taken a pay cut and not bitch about it years later. Right, because that's that's what they want to do. They want to throw the baby out with the bathwater and say, "Oh well, the Raiders didn't do this, that, and the third. Well, you you sure you sure weren't saying shit when you were cashing your fucking check, now were you? You sure weren't saying shit then. You know, you're all it was like, oh, we need an offensive line. You know, in 2016, the season that everyone likes to reference, and you know, the last, you know, one of the few relevant things that Derek Carr ever did. You know why we had such a good offensive line that year? Because he had was on. I think he was still on his rookie deal. It was before he got signed again, but and that's the biggest problem is he is I don't know if it's him. well it has to be him, you know it's not just his agent. Some people say it's just his agent who is getting all these like lucrative deals and stuff. No, it's him too. He's asking for all this money when he hasn't done shit, asking off all this money for potential. And I and like I said, I hate Tom Brady. I fucking hate Tom Brady. But at least Tom Brady takes a pay cut in order for the good of the team to supply him for what he needs to win. 
Derek Carr doesn't do that. He still expects to get paid top five quarterback money while putting on subpar, inconsistent performances. And that's the problem I have. But anyway, enough about fucking Derek Carr. I'm, I'm fucking tired of talking about him. I'm tired of reading about him. I'm tired of the whole fucking situation. I'm already tired of it. But that's the whole. That's going to be the whole talk of the offseason. Literally, that's going to be the whole talk of the offseason. But anyway, back to reflecting on the season. What were some highlights? What were some highlights? Let's, let's, stop, let's stop being negative and let's say some positive things about the season. Josh Jacobs was a positive point in the season. He, I think he, I don't know if he was the number one running back, but he was definitely top three running back in the league with yardage and touchdowns. So hats off to Josh Jacobs for that. That was really great. And the Raiders probably should sign him. I think they will sign him. I hope they sign him. Please don't fucking let, don't let Josh Jacobs walk out the door, please. Um, I hope they sign him, and I hope once they do sign him that he continues that performance he's been doing because he's been great this year. Um, yeah, Josh Jacobs, Devontae Adams, he was another bright spot. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure like he had to put up with a lot of bullshit playing for this fucking team. But he still balled out, in my opinion. He still, you know, did what he could for us. So I think that's a bright point, and I appreciate that. And he still wants to stay a Raider. And that was another That was another point that people were saying, Oh, Devontae Adams is going to leave because Derek Carr left, so that means Devontae Adams will leave because he only came to the Raiders because of Derek Carr. No, even though forgetting the fact that he was a fan since he was a child, he probably, you know, was cheering on Tim Brown and, you know, uh, and Jerry Rice and, and Rich Gannon and that whole Super Bowl team. Not Super Bowl team. Well, technically Super Bowl, even though we lost. The whole teams from, like, the early 2000s, you know. He, he totally wasn't cheering on that. He only came because of Derek Carr. Because Derek Carr is the, the light of the universe. And everything functions because of Derek Carr, right? No. So he's going to stay. And I'm happy he's staying. So that's a bright point. Max Crosby is a bright point. He's the only bright point in this defense. Because even when Nate Hobbs came back, he hasn't done shit. So now I'm questioning, questioning Nate Hobbs. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Max Crosby. Uh, I think he... He'll probably go to the Pro Bowl. I imagine him and probably Josh Jacobs will probably go to the Pro Bowl. Maybe Devontae. You might as well go to the Pro Bowl. You're not going to the Super Bowl. So, Oh, another highlight was obviously beating the Patriots. It only took us 20 years, but we finally beat the fucking Patriots. And, um, yeah, that's really about the only highlights I have, which um, is really sad. But uh, Oh, and another possible point is me doing these reactions and rants about the Raiders. Like, it has been really fun doing it for this season, and I'm going to do it again next season. I think I might I might review the Super Bowl or react to the Super Bowl as well. But that was another bright spot. Is it really, you know, is diversifying my, uh, you know, stuff I do here because normally I just play games. But it was a uh, it was something my friend suggested to me, and I just did it out on a whim. And I think it's done a lot of good, and it's been pretty fun doing these. So I'm definitely going to do this again next season, and I'm probably going to do it for the Super Bowl. But yeah, man, the season's over, and honestly, I mean, I, I love football, even if we're playing shitty, you know, and it kind of sucks the season's over, because now it's like, shit, what do I do, <laughs> you know, because I mean, football is really the only sport I pay attention to, I used to pay attention to basketball, but I stopped after it became where you can't play defense, I and mean, everyone was flopping like a fish, so all these super teams and shit ruined the fucking game, but yeah, but, uh, football is really all I pay attention to, so now I guess we're going to see how the playoffs pay, play off, Ugh. Playouts, ugh, playoffs play out. A little tongue twister there. And, um, yeah, so that's it for this season. And, yeah, I probably won't make anything Raider-related unless something really big happens. Like, if we bring in, like, a big-name free agent, I don't know who, but it, let's, if we bring in, like, Tom Brady, I might react to that. But I don't know if we will. A lot of people saying we are, which would be freaking... I don't know if I want him here, honestly. But anyway, I don't know. I'm all over the place. <laughs> I'm a little hangry, too. I'm not going to lie. I need a Snickers. All right. So, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, my reactions and reviews this season. I definitely have enjoyed making them, and I will continue to do it. And um, shout out to my friend for giving me the idea to do it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.